Hello, let me give you an update on what's going on regarding the current situation and the storms that we see taking place in Tennessee. Tennessee has already been ravaged throughout the night by multiple severe storms. Right now, more cloud-to-ground lightning is taking place. The main threat seems to be right in this area, but let me uh, right in the area of Sumner County right now. It came from Ashland City, which is usually an indicator that it will likely move right on up through uh, through Hendersonville, Gallatin, Bethpage, Bransford, Westmoreland, and head on up into Lafayette. This area right now, places like Red Bowling Springs, we'll get it later. They're getting some downpours, but not nearly as heavy to the southwest as you see right here. But let me zoom out a little bit. This is on the uh, My Radar app on the Fire TV Stick, if you are not aware of which app that I'm using. And these storms go all the way down. They, they were in Little Rock, Arkansas, just an hour or two ago, but they made their way from Arkansas, and they moved through Memphis, and they moved through the state of Tennessee, and they're still rolling through right now. And the fact that it's still 65 degrees at 4 o'clock in the morning gives these storms so much more amplification. You see so much more energy associated with this than what you would normally see, say, if it was like 45 or 50 degrees. But you see at 65, 70 degrees this time of the morning, that's a strong indicator that the storms can strengthen. And that path that the tornado took earlier... From Nashville moving east, and it literally took a path right along Interstate 65. It went just it just went through right through the area, just heading east. And what we'll only know the damage after the sun rises because that's when they'll be able to fully assess the damage. EMS crews will be out, drones will be flying over, planes and helicopters will be flying over. The emergency crews will be looking around. They'll be trying to assess the situation because there are multiple downed power lines. The electrical lines, people are without electricity, businesses and homes. Lots of damage has taken place. And obviously the, uh, the street lights aren't working, so there's no traffic lights to keep things flowing naturally. Work and school is on a complete mess up right now. Now, due to Super Tuesday, there was no school. So that is good news that children were not going to be in school during these situations, but I highly doubt they would have been to begin with had there been these storms, but due to these storms. But let me show you what's going on. This little storm here seems to be intensifying. And that this is in Sumner County. And what I saw right there, where I'm what right there, just southeast of White House you can see a tiny bit of a hook. Now that doesn't see and on the front and on the back. That right there to me implies there's pressure on both sides. Now I may be wrong, but it looks to me like that there's winds from both directions. Now that can also be straight line winds. So it looks like yeah, I would I would say due I would say due to what I see with this storm that the most threat would be maybe some hail and some straight line winds so that could also be an indicator of some straight line winds sadly two people have already have been, have been reported dead due to these storms but that was out of Davidson County I don't know what's happened with Sumner County you can see right now we're about to get downpours in Bethpage, Bransford and Heading toward Westmoreland, Castalian Springs, Gallatin right now, Gallatin, Tennessee, you see getting major downpours of rain in the middle of this system. A lot of areas uh, are like along 109 and Mount Juliet getting more of this torrential rain that they don't need. That's why the flood warning has extended through 6 o'clock in the morning and the flood advisories but this system right here these systems have had a long track of continuous damage and severity to them thankfully they've weakened now as the sun comes up and as it turns daylight that's when you'll be able to really see the damage 
that is actually taking place. So, I'm going to do another zoom in a moment. Let's see what's going on. You see Pleasant Valley. White House right now. You see this storm heading through White House. Strong lightning outside right now. You can hear the thunder. There just there are so many individuals without electricity that we are fortunate to have electricity right now. I know I had some individuals speaking to me on my channel stating that they that they uh, they had no electricity and no internet. Their cable went out, which their and their TV signal went out. They had nothing. But you can see right there along 231, Highway 231 and 31 East, you can see, look how, look how much, there was some hail earlier, I heard it falling, but it was only for around two minutes, thankfully. And you can see lots of just random downpours of rain. Just downpours of rain. Let's go up toward Westmoreland. See, Westmoreland, you see, has just had green mostly and in the past 10 minutes or the past five to ten minutes but before that that's where they that's when they received their heavier rain let's zoom out what's heading toward Gallatin at this point is what appears to be the strongest and the with the most torrential downpours Hendersonville Gallatin Millersville Goodlettsville they just got this storm Castalian Springs Bethpage, Bransford, Gallatin, Castalian Springs, all of these areas, they're about to get the heaviest, we're all about to get the heaviest rain up in, in northern Middle Tennessee, northern Sumner County, over in the areas of uh, the Highland Rim, and uh, I actually don't think Westmoreland will receive it really as much as, as, much as uh, just south of Westmoreland, they might, but in Siloam they might receive some of it, but if you live in those areas, that's what's getting it right now. This is just this is a look at what's happening. That's what's going on. This is the live radar. I'm going to zoom out one more time and show you what it's doing across the state of Tennessee. And as you can see across the state of Tennessee, more storms on the way, I'd say through 7 o'clock in the morning. So I'll keep you updated. Thank you for watching this video. Stay as safe as possible. I've got this video and another one to bring you in a moment. But more heavy torrential downpours of rain are happening outside right now. I'm keeping my eyes on this situation. I hope you're safe. Let me know you're safe in the comment section or by email. My link is below for PayPal if you'd like to show support for my channel and what I do. And uh, you can also contact. I love you all so much. Signing out for this video. Lightning is striking right now like crazy. So, lightning and thunder, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. I might make a video from outside, but if it's too dangerous, then I'm just not going to bother with it. But that's what we have going on right now. Thankfully, it's diminished from what it was earlier. But still, enough to remain cautious. Signing out.